Hello there. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I've got a giant iced coffee next to me right now. And I also am prepared to make another one. But anyway, so today um, I thought of a thematic set of quick videos I can make. There will be three. This is the first. So what's this one about? Well, I've got a mouse trap. Oh, we have a mouse. So, mouse. Uh, the other two videos will be using the word um, bird and cat. Kind of connected, right? Anyway, let's get to these expressions today. So the first one, as quiet as a mouse, as poor as a church mouse, two Mickey Mouse around, a one-eyed trouser mouse, or a one-eyed trouser snake. So what do these mean? The first one, as quiet as a mouse, means very quiet. A lot of these expressions in English, if you see as with an adjective, as, it's just a way to emphasize that adjective. It's basically saying very this adjective. So as quiet as a mouse, very quiet. Quiet is our adjective here. So the second phrase, now that you know this little secret, what's the adjective in the second expression? That's poor. So we're saying that someone is very poor. To Mickey Mouse around, yes, that is Mickey Mouse, like Disney World. Uh, if someone likes to Mickey Mouse around, they're not being serious, they're not doing the, the work that they should be uh, doing, whether they be a student or someone that's working in an office. And the last one, a one-eyed trouser mouse, or I know this expression more of a one-eyed trouser snake, but because it's mouse, I thought I would include it. So what does this mean? Well, this is slang for penis. There we go. So welcome to anatomy class today. So some examples of these expressions. Tom never talks in our meetings. He's as quiet as a mouse. She always said that she was as poor as a church mouse when she was younger. Every time the boss is out of the office, they find a way to Mickey Mouse around. And the last one, our anatomical phrase. Mike told us about the obnoxious guy at the restaurant last night who kept talking about his one-eyed trouser mouse. So there we go. Got some expressions using mouse. I hope you were able to learn something. Maybe you can use one or two of them. Um, at the appropriate uh, time and place because you don't want inappropriate with your expressions of English. So again, thanks for um, tuning in, watching, listening, whatever verb I should be using here. I don't know. Uh, so give a like to the video, a little thumbs up. You can follow me um, on Twitter and Instagram. Those links are, they're here on the page. Uh, and subscribe. Thanks. And yeah, okay, that's all for this one. Stay tuned for the other two videos. Um, remember, they'll have a uh, bird and cat in them. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye-bye.